Hey, welcome back and in today's video, we're on a mission today. I'm on a mission today to tell you something that's very important. Um, in the face of adversity, uh, it may seem challenging, but you must never fear. Fear is not the thing uh, that you need to fear. You don't let people scare you. Uh, it was brought to my attention that uh, a fellow YouTuber, Kamunsi, his channel has no videos on it anymore. I know a lot of you guys have seen this. Let's let's pull this up. So here's Kamunsi's channel. The channel doesn't have any content on it. I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe all his videos were privated, but I quested to figure out what was gone, so I went to his Twitter to see what was happening. And there was one tweet where uh, the Dino Onesie, the greatest uh, fanfic creator of Repzilla that has, there has ever been, uh, said, What happened? Kamunsi replies with Ask Titanic, referring to Mr. Titanic Sinclair. And that brought me to make this video. Now, there are many difficulties and adversities that you must face when you go to make a YouTube channel. There are people that are not going to like your content. There are people that are going to do everything that they can to stop you from doing what you're doing. And that can be frightening. But on the other hand, there's another perspective that you need to look at. Um, if they're doing this, if they're trying to stop you, is it not that they fear themselves what you are capable of? And if I had to send a message to Kamunsi, I would say, do not be afraid of what might happen. If your videos are off your channel, and you took the videos off your channel for fear that your channel might be deleted. What's the difference? What's the difference if, if your channel has no content on it? Did they, have they not won? I was, when I first started my channel, um, I had a lot of uh, criticism. Uh, went through some drama on the channel. Those videos are still on there. You can still check them out. Uh, Especially with Titanic Sinclair, where he tried to, well, I, I, like I said, I, I hate that, I hate bringing up old uh, drama, but I was pushed to get rid of my channel, and uh, it made me feel like I should have taken I was fearing that my channel would be deleted so I thought well I should just private all the videos and wait till it goes over and I feel like that's what's happened with Kamunsi's channel and again I don't know but uh, I didn't I didn't and instead I fought back uh, I, I went through legal options and figured out basically became a stronger entertainer, a, a stronger content creator, and uh, I, my channel prevailed. I don't think that you should submit, I don't think that you should give in to fear, never fear. Actually, you don't have my permission to be afraid. Now, I, I know that there's a whole community of people that just don't like my content, but I don't even know if they've asked themselves what has Repzilla done? What evil have I done? I don't even think they could even answer. Oh, he spreads misinformation, so what? Uh, oh, he, he violated the privacy of public material, so what? If you get right down to it, I have never done anything to anyone on YouTube. I've never done any wrong. I've done never done any evil. 
and every time I'm faced with people that are nasty and just mean to me I'm just nice right back in response and I think that's the way to be uh, I don't spread negativity I spread positivity I spread a positive message here and I will continue to do that throughout the evolution of the Repzilla channel because that's what I'm about that's what we should all be about and like I said, you don't have my permission to be afraid. So, you can do anything that you want to do. Uh, yeah. uh, another thing that was pissing me off was the fact that... Uh, go to the Ripzilla Twitter. There were fans being punished for... Me making videos on... Titanic Sinclair, Mars Argo, and uh, Poppy. Vamp Faye says, I just clicked on a Poppy tweet to find out that she was blocked. And this is not a singularity. This is, it's obvious that anyone that uh, has associated with my channel or Kamunsi's channel or any channel that's just trying to produce content about the, those particular people they're blocked because when it gets right down to it we're not doing anything wrong uh and if it wasn't for our channels if it wasn't for channels like ours you would know half the shit that you you know now it's just you just wouldn't and and, it, and youtube wouldn't be half as fun you know uh we're all new creators we have we have futures and for anyone to try to stomp that out is just it's despicable and disgraceful because content creation is an art and it's a fun art it's like sitting down with your easel and you know painting it's you whatever you envision in your mind you get to put out there and that's art and to be punished uh for liking art oh it just doesn't rub me the right way i don't like it and I think that the people that do that should be ashamed, even if they if they think it's, they might be laughing about it and thinking it's funny and and whatever. But you know, you're the viewers that are watching the content, and it's being taken away, and the content creators are being stripped of their their creativity. Uh, you should stand up for that and realize that if they're losing their creativity, <laughs> you're losing your creativity. You're losing your ability to watch uh, indie. I want to call it indie YouTube makers, right? Indie YouTube cre content creators. Is that a thing? Indie content creators? I don't know. But uh, the, I, I'm, I'm really interested in your guys' feedback on this. So if uh, you could, leave your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box below. <laughs> and as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. No fear. That's all. That's what I'm gonna leave it at.